Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use bindable events in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First things first, a bindable event is basically just an event that can go on either the client or the server. And it's kind of just like a workspace um, trigger. Like, you can use it, it's like an object that can be triggered, and it can be seen as it's been triggered so I'll show you what I'm talking about so you can put these wherever you want um, I'm gonna put this in replicated storage because I think that is the safest place to put it uh, because it's it can't be altered on the server uh, but anyways I'll just call it an event and in server script service I'll create a script and what the script will do is fire the event so game dot replicated storage dot event fire and then I'll create another script so real quickly I'll name this one fire and I'll name this one um, on fired okay actually just fired and then what we'll do here is the event dot fire or, or it's just event dot event so there's no like on something event on client event it's just event and then we're going to connect the function and then we'll do print event fired we'll run that and as you can see it says event fired alright so now what we'll do is we'll fire this on the client so we'll get a local script and we'll do game dot storage dot event fire okay and now we're going to go on the fired event and we're just going to turn this all into a comment that way it doesn't run okay and actually no, no no we're gonna make this we're gonna keep this here for now and I'll make it a comment in a second and there you go as you can see it is firing but this isn't working because this is on the server and not on the client so they only work on each other so now since this one is still firing what we'll do is on this one we'll do on or event connect function print fired on client so let's see if it works and it works so um the events fire on the server and then if it's firing on the server the client can also see it but if it's firing on the client then only the client can see it so it's either the client can see the server depending on where it is um, like if you put it in like server storage or something it wouldn't work for the client the client wouldn't be able to see it but anyways um, let's do something with it because I know that's really what we need to do here so we have the event and we'll have a script here called send name and let's create a variable for the event and then we're going to fire the event and we're going to send a parameter in it and you can send as many of these as you want uh... any data or whatever and what we're going to do is send um... cache because that's my name and then we'll create another script and we'll name this um, accept name and then local event is equal to game dot replicate storage wait for child event and then event dot event connect function and then you'll have to plug in these parameters that you put in and then we'll do print your name is and then we'll do name all right and let me actually just toggle that and I'll do dot dot instead there we go so now um, hold on add a refresh for a second I think print your name is and it should say name hmm 
I guess we'll just do it like that then. Alright, it says your name is Cash. And then if I wanted to change this to Bob. As you can see, it says your name is Bob. And they basically work the same as remote events and other stuff, except for the fact that remote events send data from the client to the server. But these events can only transport data to, like, through the event. So it uses filtering enabled, but it doesn't have a server client link. And uh, this, this is actually very, very good because if it did have a server client link, then there would be so many games that were exploited on. Anyways, um, let's do one last thing with this. Let's make it where um, whenever the event gets sent to the server, we will um, spawn a part. Alright, so let's delete these, create a new script. Local event equals game dot create storage wait for child event event dot event connect function and what we'll do here is instance dot new part in and then we'll do we'll make this a variable local part part dot parent is equal to game dot workspace part dot Anchored equals false. Part dot size equals vector three dot new one one. Uh, well, actually, we'll do five five five. And then part dot brick color equals brick color dot random. All right, but this isn't actually going to work, as you'll see here. So we don't get anything. And even if we do it right here. Oops. Um, dot event fire. Oh, it is working. Um, oh, it's because we are on the server. Okay. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking we were on the client for a second. So if you press play and we do that exact same thing, it won't work. As you can see here. But then if we go to the server and do it, as you can see, it does it. And it spawns parts. And it's pretty cool. There we go. And let's say you wanted a specific color equals brick color dot new. And then what we'll do is name right here. We'll press run. And what we'll do is we'll fire that command with bright blue. And actually that didn't work because I think this one has to be lowercase. There we go. Yes, yeah, so now I have bright blue. Uh, I think it's neon yellow. No, it's um. There's a b bunch of different colors. Persimmon. There we go. That's a cool one. Yeah, but there's plenty of colors, and plenty of ways that you can use remote or not remote, but bindable events. And yeah now what if I do this on the client though so I copied the script and then I put it in local script in workspace and what if I do this exact same thing and then disable the script and we go right here and it's not gonna work if we fire it doesn't work at all and then we can switch over to the client and should work oh I think the local script just isn't loading so sometimes I think you have to uh, load local scripts in with local things so now if we do it there we go that works um, now we just have to make that bright blue and there we go so yeah there you go um, that's how you use remote events in Roblox or not remote events sorry bindable events in Roblox studio so I'll see you guys in the next one peace